Hi, I'm Kevin Minix, videographer with the Missouri Department of Conservation. Did you know we have a tropical fruit that grows right here in Missouri? When ripe, the pawpaw is a sweet and tasty fruit that can be eaten raw or used in recipes to make things such as bread, cookies, and even ice cream. Today I'd like to share with you how I like to process pawpaw fruit. Pawpaws are thin-skinned and have several large seeds contained within the fruit itself that need to be removed. The first thing to do is wash the pawpaws. Then, I'll take a paring knife like this, make a cut along the edge of the fruit, and peel the skin away. Once the skin is peeled, I place the fruit in this, which is called a chinois, and it's basically just a cone that's perforated. I'll take this, which is a pestle, place that in there with the fruit inside, and roll that around. And that'll force the fruit out through the holes in the screen, leaving the seeds in the cone. So to get started, we'll just take our knife, like I said, and start peeling these fruits. Now this can get quite messy if the fruit is very ripe because the fruit gets pretty mushy. Pawpaws don't have much of a shelf life, especially if they're ripe. You can extend that time a little bit in the refrigerator. Or if they are nearly ripe, you can help them ripen by placing the fruit in a paper bag and then sealing the paper bag. And these are very, very ripe. These were found on the ground, and the ones you find on the ground are a good indication of ripeness. If you're hunting pawpaws, you can gently shake the tree, and that will release some of the fruit that haven't yet fallen to the ground. But those you might have to take home, place in a paper bag to let them fully ripen. Pawpaws are much sweeter when they are ripe. Like I said, this is a very messy process, but one that's well worth it. It might be a good idea for you to have a dish towel and some water nearby to periodically wash your hands of this wonderful mess. Some people prefer to cut these in half and scoop out the fruit instead of peeling the whole fruit itself. Now that I have all the fruit peeled, I can start to separate the seeds from the fruit. I'll place the fruit in the cylinder a few pieces at a time. And I'll use the pestle to force the fruit out through the screen. And as the fruit empties from the cone, you can just add more fruit. And it works best, I've found, to run these seeds through here for a while because there's a membrane on the seeds that needs to get removed. And running them through the cylinder like this will help remove that membrane. Now periodically I'll take my spatula and I'll work that around the cone to push the seeds back down into the main part of the cone spin them a little bit more. Now that I've run all the fruit through the strainer, I can remove the seeds and clean the strainer of the puree. What I'll do now is just dump the seeds out into a bowl and wash them with water. So you want to keep the seeds moist at all times if you would like to plant them and have your own pawpaw trees. And now I'll just work the seeds in this water to remove the remaining membrane that might be clinging to the seeds. You can plant them right away in the fall and they will sprout in late summer of next year. Or if you would prefer to plant the seeds in the spring, you can store the seeds over winter in your refrigerator by placing the seeds in a sealable bag along with some moist potting soil. That didn't take very long and yielded some good results. I've got enough here to enjoy now and save some for later. I hope I've helped you learn how to process Missouri's largest native wild fruit. If you would like more information, please go to our website at mdc.mo.gov. Thanks for watching.